Hi, it's Miss Becky with the Madison Library. It's springtime, and when I think of spring, I think of flowers and I think of bees. I wonder if any bees would come around these flowers. Today we're going to learn all about bees, and we're going to do some rhymes and read some books. I would be really happy if you'd come on in with me. I'm so glad you could come. You know we always start with a book, so get your book. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Let's try that one more time. Can you open and close it like a book? That's it. Let's go. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Great job, everybody. Well, you know, it's always about this time that I get hungry. And I could sure use a big bowl of potato soup this morning. Potatoes are just so filling and... Wait a minute. It's not potato soup. What kind of soup do I have? Is it, is it tomato? No. What's the one with the letters? Alphabet. Oh, alphabet soup. I just can't get it. Well, all right, we'll have alphabet soup, but I do know that rhyme. Let's do it. Alphabet soup, alphabet soup. Gee, it tastes well. Alphabet soup, alphabet soup. What does it spell? Let's try that again. Alphabet soup, alphabet soup, gee, it tastes well. Alphabet soup, alphabet soup, what does it spell? Well, I'm going to be surprised when I find out what this spells. Let's see here. What's that first letter? That's a B. B. Sounds... Grandpa Bob. <laughs> That's right. And it sounds like B, B, as in Bob. How about this one? E. E. Sounds like E. Eh. And let's see, I've got another one. Another E. Uh-huh. And? How can that be? <laughs> and this one. S. S. You put that all together and it spells bees. Well, today we're going to do a story time about bees. I will be surprised and so will you to see what happens. Well, this is a big week at the Madison Library. On Friday, we're going to have a beekeeper come, and we're going to have a program at 10 a.m. Friday, June 4th. She's even going to give us each a taste of raw honey. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And if you missed it, on our Facebook page, we have a video of her and her husband at their bee farm, and they're extracting some honey, and it's really interesting to see. They're in their beekeeper suits, and somebody else is wearing a beekeeper suit in that video as well. It was really interesting, and I was a little bit nervous around those bees, but everything went fine. And I wanna teach you a little bit about bees in this book called Are You a Bee? And it's by Judy Allen. Are you a bee? Perhaps you are a honey bee. If so, your mother is a queen. She looks like this, and she lays eggs. Your life began inside of one of her eggs. When you hatch, you are not a pretty sight. You are a larva, like that right there. Your older sisters bring food. Eat it and grow. Grow until you fill your cell. One of your older sisters puts wax, a wax ceiling on your cell. She's at work there. Inside your closed cell, you change a lot. When you are ready, chew a hole in the ceiling and climb out. Now you look like a bee. There he is chewing a hole and coming out. And he looks like a bee. You have a hairy body with stripes, six legs and four wings. You have two feelers on your head, right here. And you have a stinger in the back. You are not alone. You have a few hundred brothers and, and thousands of sisters.
You live in a nest built by your older sisters. Your nest might be in a hollow tree. There's a nest there. And there's a nest up here. It might hang down from a tree branch. Most likely it will be inside a hive. Your brothers are drones. They don't do much. You and your sisters are workers. You do everything. You clean the nest, feed the larva, take care of the queen and build new cells. You fan the nest with your wings to cool it in the summer. You guard the nest to keep out strange bees. Busy, busy, busy. There they are at work. Leave the nest to fetch food from flowers. How will you know where to look? Your sisters will make up a dance to tell you. Watch the dance carefully. Don't worry, you'll understand it. You're a bee. Bees actually move around, and as they move around, they're telling the other bees where the location of a flower is. So if they dance for a long time, it's a farther distance to the flower, and they might turn one way or the other to show how to turn to get to the flower. It's really amazing. There is a sweet liquid in flowers. It's called nectar, and it's hidden deep inside. This is not a problem. You have a long tongue, and you can reach it. Here, right here. You also have a special stomach to carry it in. You'll get pollen dust all over you. Scrape it off, from, off with your front legs and put it in the pollen baskets on your back legs. Isn't that amazing? When you get home, your sisters will help you put the nectar and the pollen into storage cells. Mix some of the nectar with pollen to make bee bread. Leave the rest of the nectar to turn into honey. Bee bread is good to eat, so is honey. If you find a new patch of flowers, be sure to tell your sisters. How? Dance, of course. More eggs hatch, more larvae turn into bees. The nest gets very crowded. What will happen next? The old queen, your mother, leaves. She takes you and a lot of your sisters with her. Deep in the nest, a royal larva is hatching. She is in a different kind of cell, and she is fed rich food called royal jelly. When she becomes a, queen, a bee, she is a young queen. She flies away and mates with drones from another nest so that she can lay eggs. When she flies home again, she will be the new queen. So one queen leaves, and another is born. Fly with your sisters, follow the old queen, stay together. You are part of a swarm. When the queen stops, swarm around her. Now you must build a new nest, but where? Maybe the queen will send scout bees to find a good place. Or maybe a beekeeper will find you and take you all to an empty hive. Why is the beekeeper dressed like this? In case you get flustered and try to sting. Our beekeeper that's coming on Friday will be having a suit like that. However, if your mother looks like this, or a little like this or this, you are not a bee. You are a human child. You do not have a hairy body with stripes on it. You do not have a long tongue. You do not have a stinger. It is very unlikely that you have hundreds of brothers and thousands of sisters. But you can do a lot of things that a bee can't do. You can still eat bread and honey, but you'll never have to fetch your food from flowers. Best of all, you don't have to be busy, busy, busy all day long. The end. Here is a video of bees getting nectar from a flower. Once that little bee lifts its head up over there on the left, you're gonna see its long tongue and how it can get into the flower and get that nectar. There it is. And I'm sure that these bees are getting pollen on them, so they'll spread that pollen from flower to flower. Aren't they just amazing? In this video, you'll see a beekeeper holding the frame from a beehive. This is where the bees make the honey, and then the beekeeper will extract it to use it. Now we're going to do a rhyme about honeybees. Have you got your five honeybees? Let's get started. Five busy honeybees were resting in the sun. The first one said, let's have some fun. The second one said, where shall it be? The third one said, up in the tree. The fourth one said, let's make some honey sweet. The fifth one said, with pollen on our feet. 
The five little buzzy bees sang their buzzing tune as they worked at the beehive all afternoon. Buzz, 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 buzz. Let's try that again. Have you got your five bees? Five busy honey bees were resting in the sun. The first one said, let's have some fun. The second one said, where shall it be? The third one said, up in the tree. The fourth one said, let's make some honey sweet. The fifth one said, with pollen on our feet. The five little busy bees sang their buzzing tune as they worked at the beehive all afternoon. Bees can be very busy. And I have a story for you about a bee who was very busy. As a matter of fact, her name is Busy Ms. Lizzie. And this is by David Shannon. Let's see how busy Miss Lizzie gets. Busy Miss Lizzie was just about the busiest, buzziest bee anyone had ever seen. Like most little bees her age, Lizzie went to school. She always got straight B's on her report card. That's better than straight A A's if you're in B school. Lizzie did lots of things besides school, too. She took dance lessons, acting lessons, art lessons, and music lessons. My, she does a lot. She also played B-League baseball. And she was a member of the Junior Honey Scouts. Those are all very good things, aren't they? Everyone asked, why so busy, Ms. Lizzie? Because someday I want to meet the queen, Lizzie answered. And when she asks me if I'm the best bee I can be, I'll say, yes, ma'am, I am. Of course, Lizzie had lots of friends. Busy Miss Lizzie's best friend was Lazy Miss Daisy. Daisy was just the opposite of Lizzie. She liked to go to the garden and lie down in a big flower. It smells wonderful, she told Lizzie. Do you want to come with me? I'm too busy for that, Lizzie always says. It does look nice to rest like that. Lizzie's other friends were quite busy and buzzy, though. Some of them did some things with her. Others did other things with her. But busy Miss Lizzie did everything. The only bee that was maybe even busier than Lizzie was her mom. One day, everyone in Hivetown was buzzing with some exciting news. There was going to be a big spelling contest. The busiest, buzziest little bees were going to compete, and the winner would get to meet the queen. I guess that would be a spelling bee. The three lucky bees chosen for the contest were Newsy Susie, who knew pretty much everything about everything, Zack Zack, Pat on the Back, who never, ever got in trouble, and Busy Ms. Lizzie. Congratulations! She was so thrilled, she just about buzzed herself silly. This is my big chance, she shouted. Lizzie studied so hard for the spelling bee contest that she barely got any sleep. I'm worried about you, said her mom. You need to rest. Daisy agreed. Why don't you take a day off and go to the garden with me? Lizzie was cranky. I don't see how you can just lie around and do nothing, she said. Well, I like doing nothing, Daisy replied. It's nice to just think about things, and sometimes I read a book or I talk to other bees. Last time I met a very nice old lady who knows lots of stories. You should meet her. I'm too busy, said Lizzie again. Tomorrow is the big day. Daisy smiled. Lizzie, you're the most amazing bee I know. I'm sure you'll win. If I can stay awake, joked Lizzie. I don't know if she should be working that hard. The next day, the entire colony was at the spelling contest. Everyone buzzed as loud as they could when the queen arrived. Newsy Susie, Zack Zack Pat on the back, and, little, and Lizzie battled through round after round. But then Susie forgot a Z in the word razzmatazz, and Zack Zack was fooled by the word bamboozle. All Lizzie had to do was spell quizzical, and she would win. She closed her eyes to think, and then it happened. Busy Miss Lizzie dozed off. She woke up shouting, Quizzical! Q-U-I-Z-Z-I-C-A-L! Her mom and Daisy were next to her in be her bed. 
I've got to get back to the contest, Lizzie cried. I have to meet the queen. That was three days ago, said Lizzie's mom. The doctor says nothing but rest for you now. I'm so sorry. I should have said that a long time ago. Well, said Lizzie, trying not to cry. At least now I can go to the garden with Daisy. Good idea, said Lizzie's mom. It's so beautiful, Lizzie gasped as they lay back in a flower, but she was still thinking about the contest. Maybe I should go home and study my spelling, though, for next year. Who thinks about spelling in the middle of a garden, said a strange voice. Lizzie looked up and saw an old bee smiling at her. Daisy shouted, that's my friend I told you about. Lizzie thought the old bee looked familiar. Then she realized, you're, you're the queen, she exclaimed. You are, numb Daisy? What happened to your big hair? The queen laughed. Oh, I wear my wig so they have something to put that silly crown on. But aren't you too busy to be here? Lizzie asked. I'm busy doing nothing, answered the queen. It helps me be the best bee I can be. Lizzie knew exactly what the queen meant. If I wasn't so tired, I would have won the spelling contest, she sighed. Yep, said the queen, but then you probably wouldn't be here. And aren't you happy right now? Lizzie thought for a second. There, there she was in the beautiful garden with her best friend and the queen. Yes, ma'am, she replied. And that's how busy Miss Lizzie learned to stop and smell the flowers, which, when you think about it, is exactly what bees are supposed to do. The end. Let's do two rhymes about beehives. The first one, you'll get a good tickle. Are you ready? Got your beehive? Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. It's alive! Buzz! Give yourself a tickle. Let's try that again. Here is the beehive, but where are the bees? Hidden away where nobody sees. Watch and you'll see them come out of the hive. One, two, three, four, five. They're alive! Buzz! I hope you got a good tickle or gave somebody else a good tickle. Now this next song is one I remember from my childhood. And we're gonna pretend that we catch a baby bumblebee. Are you ready? Do you see one? I see one. Got it. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. Let's try another verse. I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Ooh, it's yucky. I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Now my mommy won't be mad at me. Grandma Lou, are you mad at me? I'm not. Oh, I'm so thankful. We're going to do one more thing today. We've got a craft. Let me show you. If you just draw a spoon, doesn't that look like a spoon there? And put the stripes on it. I, paint, I used my crayon and colored it yellow and put a little smiley face and put some wings on it. I put a sun up in the corner. You can draw flowers down at the bottom or make it however you want to. I would love to see a picture of the bee that you make. And you can send it to me at my email address at b b o w e n at mcls.ms. Thank you so much for coming today. Be good. Bye-bye.